Hello, today we are going to fix what is in my opinion one of the best product that is like a kitchen appliance that I'm using every day. It was so great that when it failed I purchased the another unit that at the same time I order spare part to make a fix. So this is an amber heated mug. What is the problem? The problem is that device sometimes charge okay, but the other time I left it and it is not charged, not a single percent. I make an investigation what's going on and on the coaster you've got two pogo pins and one of that pin is stop springing back. Of course, I try to add some lubricant. I clean it with the isopropyl alcohol that it don't want to retract. I grab a tweezers, I pull it, I add a silicone spray that it is not working. So the idea is that we are going to replace those Spogo pins. Today I receive a package from China from the AliExpress when I purchase will have correct size the, the length to be a, exactly the same replacement as you can see I haven't opened it yet so I've got no idea what's the dimension and let's try to open it and take a look I believe we will be able to pry that or maybe maybe not peeling that rubberized bag reveal access to a that looks like a torque screw so let me grab a proper bit That was another best purchase, the Xiaomi Wu stick. I'm using it every day and it's helping me so much that I just can't imagine living without it. So now our coaster should fall apart, maybe a gentle pry will reveal its context and we've got answer why we have a problem because we can see the water leaked in and that water most likely corroded maybe I've got a tea with some honey and that ruined it so this is how it looks like the question is, does it going to be, does the PCB is connected by any way or we just pry it? Looks like it is held by glue. Here is glue. And those are our gold pins. Hmm. I'm not sure if I didn't purchase to short one. I don't want to wait another month. That would be bad. I will try the biggest one. This is the longest one. And let's see. To me, they look exactly the same. I'm going to link the size because we can judge the one that I purchased. Let's mount the board and let's redo it. That one is wrong, that one is good, so I'm going to leave it as is. I'm pretty sure that it should be reworked by using a hot air, but maybe we can give it a try with the RF soldering station. Maybe we can do it. 
and looks like we will be able to. So now it's removed. Let me nicely add a little bit of solder. I put my dedicated tool somewhere and it's late. So I'm going to grab it like that. I'm going to add a tiny drop at the end. So we are going to get a very nice and easy job. I'm going to heat up and put it down. Let's see how does it present. That looks bad. Maybe I will redo it like that. That looks good. You see, sometimes we have to play with it and they are looking exactly the same length. The genuine one are more beefy, but I'm pretty sure it will do the job. Let's try to clean it up a little bit from the rest of PCB. Having a seal over here is going to prevent water from going inside. This is why in the manual they say the coaster should be dry, which is of course stupid. Let me take a look. How does it present? And it looks, it looks good. It looks okay. It presents okay. So let me fix that wire that snap out. And it is a beautiful job. Let's mount it like this. And let's take a look. Does it going to nicely close? And yes, we've got our pins perfectly sticking out. That looks like a good job. They both springing back. Oh, looks like. Looks like we are going to get a full success. Let me close that back. Let me put back our sticker. Of course, I should do that after trying out. Let's try to recharge something. We are in the blue. We put it and it nicely go into charging. And this is how it's working. And that one goes into charging. And we've got a good fix. So as you can see with those simple and cheap gold pin parts, we were able to fix our coaster. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.